In this video, a sequence counter using flip-flops is designed and demonstrated. The counter counts odd numbers from 1 to 7. Using flip-flops and logic gates, we can design a counter that can count any sequence of numbers. In today's video, the counter will count the odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7 and then repeat and we'll be using uh, toggle flip-flops for the design. For this design, we need three flip-flops to represent the sequence of numbers 1, 3, 5, and 7. And the output of the flip-flops are represented by Q0, Q1, and Q2. This would be the least significant bit, and this would be the most significant bit. Given the three flip-flops, we construct a truth table called the current state which represents all of the possible outputs from all zeros to all ones and this the table here represents the next state which is the required outputs based on the sequence of numbers to be counted 1 3 5 and 7 starting with a current state of 0 we should have the next state 1 and when we have 1 the next state should be 3. And when we have 2, it should stay 3. And when we have 3, we should get 5. And when we have 4, it should stay 5. And when we have 5, the next state is 7. And when we have 6, it should stay 7. And when we have 7, the next state should be 1. So this gives us the truth table for the next state. This truth table here represents uh, the required uh, inputs of the three flip-flops based on the outputs from the current state and the next state. Keep in mind that a toggle flip-flop, the output will uh, toggle whenever the input is at logic 1. As an example, let's see how T2 column is constructed by comparing the queues from the current state with the next state. So here, for example, the current state queue is 0, while on the next state is 0, so no toggle, so the input should be 0. Here, we have the current state is 0, while the next state is 1, so toggle, so the input must be 1. In a similar way, we have 1 here, and on the next state is 0, so toggle, so the input is 1. And in a similar way, we construct T1 and T0. Now, the next uh, step is to combine the truth table of the current state with uh, each of the columns of the required inputs and using uh, Karnov map to come up with the uh, Boolean expressions for T2, T1, and T0. So these are the Karnoff maps for T2, T1, and T0, and by applying the simplifications, we can come up with the Boolean expressions for T2, T1, and T0. And this is the block diagram of the implemented sequence counter. For the T flip-flop, we are using JK flip-flop, and we can uh, convert it to a T flip-flop by tying together the JK inputs. And here we have uh, three outputs, uh, while Q2 represents the most significant bit and the Q0 is the least significant bit. And uh, when clock is applied, the output should be the counts 1, 3, 5, 7, and then it will repeat. And this is the circuit diagram of the implemented counter. To generate the clock, we are using an SPDT micro switch uh, coupled with a debound circuit to manually generate pulses at the output. And for the flip-flops, we are using CD4027, which contains two JK flip-flops. And the three-bit output is connected to LEDs to display the counts from 1 to 7. And now for a quick demonstration of the sequence counter. In my next video, I will demonstrate another sequence counter, this time using D flip-flops. Thank you for watching.